Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Markets have staged a small recovery this morning, actually uh, kind of uh, opening up uh, ever so slightly in the middle of two ranges. US 30 there, uh, around about 16,543. Uh, Next potential resistance 16,598. Next potential support 16,401. And this is falling on from non farm payrolls on Friday, which came out a little bit worse than expected. Real mixed bag of economic data. Nobody really knows what's going on with um, with, it, with interest rates. You know, it, you know, some data had come out to say it was looking quite uh, resilient. That 2014 was going to be the the, the the end of the 2014 was going to be the time. Um, but then uh, you've had your non farm payrolls come out a little bit worse than expected. Uh, as uh, some other U.S. economic data was less than rosy, as uh, still only yeah. China that looks to be quite decent. Most of Europe's in disarray again this morning, um, with the uh, German companies suffering the most okay. over that um, yeah, sanction area that. from from Russia. And uh, this could be uh, a lot of traders looking at this as a dead cat bounce. It really needs to get above 16,598 and close above that before we're going to get any meaningful um, reaction to um, to move higher. Uh, because right now with this massive technical break here uh, a lot of people will be a little bit anxious uh, but then there is a lot of other traders who are waiting for a good entry point to get back in and get back long um, i guess the question being is is this it or is it a, a a level slightly lower so we expect further volatility throughout the week so looking at the uk 100 um it also uh, kind of gapped up this morning but like most of europe has now gone to negative territory um, Germany 30 is a prime example of this, looking uh, especially weak, as is uh, Spain, uh, Portugal, uh, and most of Europe as well. So potential resistance 16701 is the potential resistance, uh, which was broken support. Uh, we're now looking again at 6666 as potential uh, support on the downside. And obviously we've been much lower uh, out there on Friday, where we hit 6623, and that will certainly be a level many people are looking at. The UK 100 has been in a sideways moving market now for almost a year, uh, looking at things from here. Uh, you know, by the time certainly we come into October, uh, if we start reaching you know, levels of 65, 6400, um, it will be looking quite, clear, quite keenly like a sideways moving market. Um, but there are obviously always opportunities to be had if you get in at the right levels. So looking at um, Japan 225, really struggled there on Friday um, after uh, coming off so harshly there on Thursday. Um, but we are bouncing around 15488, which is the, the potential support slash resistance right now. We keep bobbing on either side of it, so that's the level to go ahead and have a look at. So the dollar bulls, what happened to them? Well, dollar yen obviously reversed the uh, course slightly. Uh, the 102 spot 90 is still the potential resistance. It's not been uh, an absolute massacre, massacre on the dollar. Incidentally, there are still uh, some, some uh, dollar bulls there, obviously with the fact that we do have a positive candle today. Technical indicators do look slightly overbought, uh, have come out through the levels. There is definitely technical pressure on here, so close to potential resistance. Uh, if we do get reversal, though, there is a long way to go on uh, dollar yen. Uh, 101 spot 35 is quite far, uh, and the moving averages are still quite disconnected from where the price action is right now. So should the dollar uh, fail to continue its momentum, and it has certainly wobbled after Friday, um, you know, there is a, far, a long way to come. Um, but there are others that think, you know, obviously the data wasn't exactly terrible, but it wasn't exactly um, stratospheric either. Um, so we'll be keeping a close eye on economic data. Of course, there's none out today of any significance, um, but we'll come on to what's coming up later on. Um, crude oil West Texas uh, still coming off, even as ISIS take over uh, more Kurdish areas of Iraq. Uh, obviously, Tripoli's on fire pretty much. Libya uh, going through a lot of trouble right now. Um, but a lot of the demand, there's a bit of a glut just now with uh, with oil supply. Demand is diminishing slightly, or longer term demand is diminishing, and that seems to be outweighing all the fundamentals as ever. And uh, $99 is potential resistance, $97 is potential support. Um, looking at gold, gold safe haven got a big, uh, a big lift there on uh, Friday. Potential resistance, 1295 remaining intact today. That's the level to watch. We'd be very interested for gold. That's very strategic. You should keep an eye on that. Euro dollar. Um, Euro dollar has retraced back up close to one spot, 34.55. Uh, hopefully, it's just sort of, well, not hopefully, but it might be just be a retracement back up to potential resistance to resume its downwards move. Should the dollar manage to wrestle control, obviously, Eurozone is in trouble, a little bit under pressure anyway as well. So, uh, Euro dollar should be primed. Should the dollar begin to uh, wrestle control again, Euro dollar should be an FX pair to watch. And then you've got cable. 
and uh, Cable is massively on the wrong side right now. Uh, this is a horrible move by Cable. Uh, real negative candle there on Friday. Stop dead on potential support, one spot 68.20. This level is very strategic. If you look at where it stopped there today, uh, keep an eye on that. So as I said, there's no economic data out today of significance. Tomorrow you've got PMI and um, non-manufacturing business index in the US. Uh, and then you've got to go on to Wednesday and you've got lots of UK industrial production. Good for cable, good for uh, UK 100. Keep your eye on the chart for them. Make insights part of your layout going forward as ever. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.